TikTok has more than 750 million users. It has been downloaded 2 billion times in the Play and App Store. Probably you are already one of those 750 million user. Anyway, if you are looking for working guide on how to hack TikTok account then you are on the right video. There are many fake sites to hack TikTok will send for a survey where you can get nothing just a waste of time. TikTok is a multi-billion dollar company. There is no automatic way to hack the TikTok account. But if you use technical skills to make the victim fool then you can hack the TikTok account easily. Today in this video we will going to show you 5 ways to hack TikTok account. Hey guys, it's John here from Hacker Joe channel. Welcome to Hacker Joe channel. We show you technology like hacking skill, how to hack, how to be hacker, programming language, best website, best things, and amazing things. Make sure subscribe to channel and don't forget to click notification bell. And if you have any concerns, questions, or opinions about this video, just live on the comment down below. So, let's get started. The first way to hack TikTok account is using phishing method. Phishing are an easy way for hackers to hack TikTok accounts. The hacker can send fake emails to users making it seem like it is from TikTok. The content of the emails could state, for example, that your account has been compromised and requires your credentials to help get your account back. This is just one example of how a cyber criminal can manipulate you into entering your personal information. Back in 2019, there was a vulnerability that allowed hackers to use a link in TikTok's messaging system to send users messages that appeared to come from TikTok. If users clicked on the link, then hackers were able to access and gain control of all accounts. Hackers were able to do whatever they wanted with the account. If you ask how to protect against phishing attacks, users should be educated and informed on the characteristics of phishing emails in order to be able to spot them. This is what you can do. Always check the URL before login. Enable two-factor authentication. Do not click on any links or open any attachments from suspicious emails. Do not enter any personal information from a pop-up screen and pay close attention for misspellings in the email contents. The second way to hack TikTok is by keylogger software or remote keylogger. Remote keyloggers mostly affect our mobile devices or laptops because cyber criminals need to first access your device and then install software to record everything you type on the keyboard. This means that every key is recorded when you log into your personal account for example, email, bank, TikTok, etc. Hackers have will this information and can hack your account. Now let's look how to protect against remote keyloggers. Do not use third-party keyboard applications. Do not open any attachments or click on links in email messages as the keylogger could be embedded in the attachment. Install anti-spyware applications to help detect, disable, and quarantine software-based keyboard loggers. The third way to hack TikTok account is with brute force attack. If a password is equivalent to using a key to open a door, a brute force attack is using a battering ram. A hacker can try 2.18 trillion password, username combinations in a few minutes. And especially if the password is easy and commonly used such as a nickname, phone number, partner's name, pet name, just to name a few. Of course, the hacker could also perform a brute force attack for the user's password if the password is a bit more difficult to guess. Brute force attack is very good way to hack TikTok. To help prevent brute force attacks, use a complex password. The difference between an all lowercase, all alphabetic, six-digit password and a mixed case, mixed character, 10-digit password is enormous. As your password's complexity increases, the chance of a successful brute force attack decreases. Require multi-factor authentication. If multi-factor authentication is enabled on your account, a potential hacker can only send a request to your second factor for access to your account. Hackers likely won't have access to your mobile device or thumbprint, which means they'll be locked out of your account. The next way to hack TikTok account is using zero-day vulnerability. A zero-day vulnerability is a new security vulnerability that software vendors may be aware of. But there is currently no patch to fix it. This would allow hackers to exploit the vulnerability. If a hacker finds a vulnerability in TikTok for example, in the source code or database, the hacker could potentially leak all user data. 
how to protect against zero-day vulnerabilities. There is no way to completely avoid zero-day vulnerabilities, but you can do the following as extra security precautions to prevent hackers from getting into your TikTok account. Make sure you are using the latest version of TikTok. Enable two-factor authentication. The last way to hack TikTok account is social engineering. Social engineering nothing just guess the password, but with the above methods, you can also social engineering to convince the victim to log in into the fake page, installing a keylogger, etc. A lot of people set a password use the name of dad or mom with a mixture of some other characters. Some people use the same password for every account. So if you can get the password of other accounts then try on TikTok, it might work. A lot of people use the same password everywhere. These were just six common vulnerabilities that may allow attackers to hack TikTok accounts and how to protect against each one of them. I am sure that there are many other techniques that exist, but these are just a few that I found to be important. Hackers are always one step ahead in finding new techniques where prevention might not be possible at first. Therefore, you should make sure that you do everything you can to ensure that your account is secure. These methods are just simple techniques to hack the TikTok account. If you learn hacking by yourself then you will explore some advanced things that are difficult to teach a non-hacker. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions let me know by the comments section. I will happy to reply to you. And in case you are first time here check some other videos.